You also have an obesity treatment. Can you talk about that a little bit? I mean, that's one of the biggest issues I think this country sure. faces. Well, that that was, um, I mean, that that is put on hold sitting in our, once again, our pharmaceutical company. Um, but I can tell you briefly what that, that is about. Um, there is a hormone, CCK, which stands for cholecystokinin, that's released from the duodenal mucosal cells in response to fat or protein. And so everybody knows that if you eat, you go to a Chinese restaurant and you eat a bunch of rice, an hour later you're hungry. But if you eat a piece of meat, something with a lot of fat and or protein, uh, you're, you're satiated a lot longer. And one of the reasons that is, is because fat and or protein intake stimulates the release of CCK from the duodenum, the first part of the small intestines. And CCK does two things. Initially, it stimulates the receptors at the pyloric sphincter, which is the outlet valve of the stomach, and it closes the stomach. So it literally keeps food in your stomach longer. So when you eat meat, it'll stay in your stomach longer, you'll feel full longer. But then the secondary phase is to stimulate what we call afferent vagal fibers that go to an area in the hypothalamus or the brain. And when you stimulate those receptors, at the level of the brain, you feel full longer. So CCK, we know what it does. The problem is nobody was able to get that drug to work orally because when you ingest it orally, it is quickly degraded by the intestinal enzymes. And I figured out a method how to actually get it to go through the bowel into the bloodstream um, uh, when taken orally. And that's, you know, that, but of course, with no funding, uh, it doesn't go anywhere.